Welcome to Ham Dump! Y'all ready for this? This past Friday, the Hampton traveled to see a Springfield Thunderbirds hockey game at the Mass Mutual Center. The Thunderbirds are playing in their inaugural season and are the AHL affiliate of the Florida Panthers. The Thunderbirds took on the Syracuse Crunch and fell 4-3 after a late comeback fell short. The Crunch opened up with a 4-0 lead before Springfield scored three goals in a span of less than five minutes to cut the lead to one. After the game, I caught up with head coach Jordi Kinnear and forward defenseman Senna Akalatze to talk about their thoughts on the game. Well, they, they capitalized on the opportunities. I, I didn't think uh, either team early on had much jump. There weren't more, uh, many chances either way. And you give them a couple of chances, a two-on-one and a breakaway, and they have the skill level to capitalize. Uh, and you can't, you can't chase the game. We chased it. So what changes did you make to jumpstart the comeback there at the end of the third period? Well, it was just guys sticking with it, and I thought they battled to the end. Their power play stepped up and got us some uh, momentum. That's the the job of the power play to create momentum for ourselves, and uh, you know, gave ourselves a chance. But again, as a four nothing leads, a tough one to come back from. Uh, I mean, every night we're there, we battle every single night. Like uh, we're a young team, so I mean, it's it's tough to lose those games. We just got to keep moving forward. But uh, it's good to see that we have that uh, resiliency. Um, on our team, and guys never give up, though we'll give it to the end, so that's good to see. And uh, the stadium got pretty loud once you guys started the comeback, so how does it help your momentum playing in front of the home fans here? Oh, it definitely helps a lot when there's a big crowd in the in the stands. Uh, gives you that extra oomph that you need. Um, definitely helps. I mean, the crowd's been good this year. So there are a couple of defensive lapses early in the third period. What do you think your team needs to do to stay focused for a full 60 minutes? Oh, I think we stay focused for 60 minutes. I just think uh, mistakes that we make uh, are costly because we don't score a lot of goals. And again, you can't, uh, a team that doesn't score a lot of goals, it's tough to come back from four or nothing. So we gotta do a better job capitalizing on our chances. So now we're not chasing the game, the other team's cha uh, chasing us. In other sports news, both the boys and girls basketball teams qualified for the postseason last week. Both the boys and girls track teams are 10 and one and have their final race of the regular season on Friday night. The boys swimming and diving team is 6-3 and three, and the girls swimming and diving team is 3-6. and six. The wrestling team has a match on Wednesday night against Westfield for their senior night. The ski team has their final PBAC North race of the season at Berkshire East next week. And finally, the East Hampton ice hockey team is 4-8-1 on the season.